So we're gonna call this series Cooking with Crosby. Getting fat with Crosby, but not gaining any fat at all because you're not Lambert. Eating tons of fat with Crosby. Hey. 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 What kind of diet is that? That's some sick shit. Like First time in a while I've been impressed by Whole Foods. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? Lambert, what is this situation? I don't know, but Whole Foods sponsor us if you're watching this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we came here for. Got it. Dense milk. Sweet. Ingredient. See, unsweetened. The whole idea behind leaning down is cutting out your sugar, eating more fat. Everyone and their mom and co worker is here. What is up, YouTube? Paige Hathaway here, and I have a special guest today. So, this is my first cooking collab. But I'm here with the very famous Crosby Taylor. Oh, famous. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, his desserts, um, I mean, tons of celebrities have tried them. It's all over the place. So I'm very excited to show you guys how to actually make one because you don't really give your recipes away that much. Super incognito about the recipes. Yeah, I'm, so this is going to be really, really cool. You don't see this anywhere. What are we making today? I'm going to give away the recipe that's one of my favorites, but it's at least not my any, anything to do with my cookies, cupcakes, those kind of things that, I, that I'm making the baking mix with. We're going to be making the sinless cinnamon rolls today. Ooh, sinless cinnamon rolls. Give me a little background about you really quick so people can know who you are. Yeah, so in terms of the dessert business, um, I've, I'm creating a gluten, sugar, grain uh, free dessert business that everything is kind of deemed to help you burn fat and to reduce inflammation and to increase your cognitive function. So people can eat dessert and burn fat. People can eat dessert and get smarter. Have you ever heard of that? People, eat dessert and burn fat. Lambert? People can, on. <laughs> people can, people that have, uh, that have to avoid sugar um, when it comes to, you know, if you're diabetic or insulin resistant or, um, aut you know, autism, ADD, these kind of things, they're all problems that stem from the beginning first step, which is too much sugar. I really want to preach and get people to understand is we can have delicious things. We can create things that are delicious and sexy and fun without some of the stuff that's going to cause us harm. And that's sugar being the number one. A lot of um, like cookies and cinnamon rolls that we're making today. Yeah. Tons of sugar. Tons cups of sugar. Cups of sugar. So. Tons of sugar. You might as well be drinking a Coke. Yeah, right, right, things. right. Yeah, it's so bad okay. for you. Cool. So cinnamon rolls are on the agenda today. So to start, um, I'm going to throw the wet ingredients in first. So we got a pastured egg. It's good to have an organic egg involved. We got two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And then we got a special product that I like to use a lot. It's called Brain Octane Oil from a company called Bulletproof. It's a coconut oil product, but it's 18 times the strength of coconut oil. Burning fat and increasing your metabolism, um, your cognitive function, this is 18 times stronger than coconut oil. And coconut oil is like a, a new big thing on yeah, the market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've so, never heard of this before. Wow. It's People know about MCT oil. MCT oil is like six times stronger than coconut oil. This is another three times stronger than that. They basically have isolated um, some of the carbon chains in the coconut oil and, and uh, they've isolated it and concentrated it in order to give it more of like a stronger energy. And they just did a study uh, recently that said that the brain octane oil puts you in four times greater ketosis than any other fat wow, product on the market. That's crazy. So where can people get, can they get this from you? Yeah, they can get this from me. Um, we'll, we'll, put the link. we'll attach a link yeah, we'll so you can go um, straight to the, the site and, and get one of these so you can make these cinnamon rolls. So we're going to do two tablespoons of this brain octane oil. And these recipes you've invented yourself. This is from scratch. Wow, this is so great. So yes, yeah, so we're going to whisk. We're gonna whisk this up a little bit. Cool. Now, that's all you need for the wet ingredients when we're making the dough. Right now, we're just the, doing the dough. Um, for a bulk of the dough, I have a combination of a ground flaxseed powder. We're using about a cup and a half minus a tablespoon. So there's a little bit less than a cup and a half of ground flax in terms of keeping the freshness of the flax. I would recommend that people go and buy um, whole flax oh. and then use a coffee grinder and oh. blend it up like that so they can get the powder or something like the Vitamix is strong enough to, to blend it up. Oh, wow. okay. So we have the ground flax in here to get it into like a consistent powder form. And then there are two tablespoons of coconut flour, organic coconut flour. So another way to get some medium chain triglycerides 
and it's a great source of fiber. And then there's a teaspoon of baking soda. Wow, that's it. So that's it. That goes in. Nice. And then the last product actually that we're gonna put in is a sweetener, which I'm super fond of. It's a company that has, it's called Lakanto. Lakanto is a blend of monk fruit and erythritol. Uh, it is a zero glycemic sweetener, zero sugar. Um, it's a sugar alcohol that does not ferment in the gut. So uh, some of these sugar alcohols out there actually don't um, have any issues when it comes to your insulin. They don't spike your blood sugar, but they still can uh, feed bad bacteria. This is the only one on the market that doesn't. So people that have issues with bacteria and candida and this kind of stuff, this is the sweetener for you as well as if you're a diabetic or um, just trying to stay away from sugar and still trying to get that sweet taste. This sugar tastes, I mean, this, this zero glycemic sugar tastes just like regular table sugar. It's crazy. This, um, you can, we can get this through you too. We can get, yeah. So we'll put a link um, on the site as well for this. But we're gonna do two tablespoons. Dropping some knowledge on you. Dropping some knowledge. <laughs> two tablespoons of Lakanto. So how long have you been doing this? Creating your desserts? Two and a half, three years since I first made my, my first baked good, I guess. I never really thought I was gonna be a baker. Um, it's kind of a funny title to have, yeah. like that I that I bake. <laughs> Who wants a baker that looks like this? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies. Oh, <laughs> girl version. So is this like a newer recipe for you or have you been making these for a while? This is a very, very new, yeah, this is a super new recipe right here. Oh, um, I only started making this about three weeks ago. Oh, wow. Because. So how does this work? Do you just like, okay, I, cinnamon rolls, and then you just like start mixing stuff together. Like how do you, you know, formulate stuff like this? I get bored ah. and I'm like laying on the couch, maybe reading and I go, what was one of my favorite things growing up that I want to recreate? And I remember every time, you know, even until I was like done playing football, you go to the airport, Cinnabon. You go to the mall, right, Cinnabon. Like right. I don't know who, who doesn't have Cinnabon, but I don't know if he doesn't have, like cinnamon rolls. Yeah, like cinnamon stuff. rolls in general, and I just have this like nostalgic past with Cinnabon, this like place where you can go and get these huge cinnamon rolls that were very, very bad for you. Cinnabon. But so good. So, good. so we got good. this dough nice. now. Wow, look at that. Yeah, and you're gonna wanna lay down some wax paper. you kind of like look up to in like the baking world like how does it you know what i mean like um i mean i've really never heard of someone doing the things that you do so it's kind of like i guess not really i mean if i t to get some kind of inspiration here and there i'll like go check out people's blogs paleo blogs oh, paleo so like paleo baking blogs sometimes vegan especially if i'm if I have clients, I have a lot of different clients that will ask specific things of me if they have needs when it comes to they're vegan or vegetarian or paleo. So I'll get inspiration by going to some of these. Oh, right, right, right. Kind of like, you but know, you new age. You've really taught yourself how to do. Yeah, everything. yeah. yeah I mean, I, I started making these ice creams and these cookies and I mean, the ice creams and, and chocolates at first. And so I had kind of like a, an idea on flavor. Oh, right, right, right. And then all of it was like based on getting good protein and fiber and good fats. And so I took that kind of idea and I go, how many of these ingredients can I use that I might throw in a smoothie and still be able to bake with? Just started kind of like throwing and crafting things together and mixing it up and of course adding certain wet ingredients like eggs and stuff that you would need to, you know, baking soda yeah, or powder right. to, to bake with. Bake it, yeah. And then just like one thing led to another and I was eventually making like the first grouping of cookies that were just unreal. Yeah, yeah, I've had your cookies. <laughs> Amazing. They've evolved over time, but. Well, this is a good idea to put the two sheets like this. Yeah, because otherwise. It'll stick and then, what are we going for? Like, um, just flatten it out? More or? of like a, rec yeah, like a rectangle. So you have, 
um, a website where you have like your desserts on it mm -hmm. and stuff. <clears throat> Do you, you sell your desserts there? Not yet. They'll, the website, the new website that I just created is up now. It is called Tailored Life. Tailoredlife.com is the website. We'll put that link on there for you. But, um, but yeah, I'm doing everything from giving away some of my recipes on there to educating and creating content about mindfulness and what people should be doing in terms of their mental, mental, spiritual, emotional health as well as physical. So yeah, workouts and um, what to eat and like body type stuff and you know. Because you started um, personal training at first, right? I was doing uh, more nutrition stuff. So I was doing like personal consultations for people to get them kind of in line with their, their selves and understanding what works best for each person. So one on one like tailored plans. And then... Uh, tailored, get it? That's right. <laughs> that's right baby, tailored. <laughs> Yeah, so you want to end up with a dough that's kind of rectangle forming. Nice. Here. Because you want it to be easy to roll at the end. So there's the beginning right there. You got your dough. That looks, smells so good. <laughs> All right, so we put um, the batter in the fridge, and now we're going to make the... Cinnamon sauce. Cinnamon sauce, okay. Yeah, so, you know, cinnamon roll's got to have that. It's the best part of the cinnamon roll is right. that like, really all you need is like a good coffee cup. You can do this in a, like a regular mixer or blend it up in a big bowl, but. But if you work out, then you, you do it If you work out, you just want to do it with a spoon. <laughs> and what we have already in there is our four tablespoons of Bulletproof Collagen. This is another product that I really like from the Bulletproof I've family. I've never heard of this company, but now I just definitely have to you know, check it out. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, he's famous for starting the whole coffee thing with the butter and the MCT oil. Yeah, in. right, right, right. So the whole idea is to eat more good fats to get your body to use ketones as energy, which is your fat fuel source as opposed to glucose from carbohydrates. Right. And when you're doing this, your body starts to become a fat burning machine as opposed to a sugar burning machine. So you're gonna be burning more calories from fat and eventually your body, when it doesn't have um, food, it goes to your stored body fat to use for energy. So that's the whole idea behind eating more good fats, eating less sugar and carbohydrates, is to get your body into that kind of state. Now, the state of ketosis also is amazing for the brain. So it takes, I think Dave said something about, and Dave Asprey is the owner of the company, I think he said something about, uh, it takes 26 steps for a sugar to reach the brain to use, utilize as energy, where it takes three steps for a oh, ketone. Wow. So it's brain energy, it's pure brain energy. And the, the Bulletproof Brain Octane Oil that we were talking about earlier um, actually bypasses digestion, goes straight into the liver to be used as energy. So this Bulletproof Collagen is another product that I really like. Collagen is kind of a big thing on the market right now. It's a, it's a protein. Um, it comes from grass-fed cows. And it's amazing for your skin, ligaments, tendons, joints. He's um, really 52. Benjamin Button over here. It's tons of collagen. So we have four tablespoons of Bulletproof Collagen in the cup. Um, we're going to add our sweetener, which is the monk fruit sweetener, Lakanto. Two tablespoons. Cinnamon, we need a lot of that. Depending on how much cinnamon, I'm a big cinnamon guy. So I don't even use the shaker. I just drop it right in. We got a tablespoon and about a half of cinnamon powder. Nice, mm, smells so, so good. This is my little jar of pink salt, pink Himalayan salt. Just a little pinch. Just a pinch. Nice. And in terms of the dry, it's all you need. So what you have now is instead of a pure sugar cinnamon sauce, nice. you have a protein cinnamon sauce. Wow. You're getting, there's seven, there's seven grams of protein per tablespoon, there's four tablespoons wow. in this. So it's 20, already at 28 grams of protein. That's amazing. In the cinnamon sauce. Now, some people are, you know, we're gonna cook this just fine, but some people are, are freaked out about uh, raw eggs. Oh, right, right, right. I'm definitely not one of them. Uh, we're gonna use the egg yolks only. We're gonna so do- only the yolk. Only the yolks. <clears throat> How many? Two? Two yolks going in. 
We need to like do this once a week. Uh, right. So we can just have like. It'd be dope. We have like a series. <laughs> It'd be great. Desserts. The full fat coconut milk is, in, in my opinion, a lot better than the light because again, you're utilizing these fats, and you're getting. What does that say? Zero sugar. Zero so that's what we're really sugar. trying to stay away from when we make these desserts. This is like, look how thick that is. Oh, shit. That's what she said. <laughs> so you can just Yum. start to break it up with a spoon. If your coconut, um, if your coconut milk is already at like room temperature, then it's gonna be, you're gonna see it like look a little bit runnier than this. But if the coconut milk was like out of the fridge or whatever, it's gonna have like this thick consistency. It just depends on what the person wants. And it doesn't matter if it's more liquidy or it's No, like you just gotta, you, you're gonna know that, uh, you just gotta know that you're gonna be pasting this on to the top of the oh, dough. Right, right, right. So however you want. That's just from all this, that's so crazy. Amazing. Yeah, like we're trying to utilize as less ingredient, like the least ingredients possible. But this is English toffee stevia. I prefer this because it, using, I've used vanilla stevia, I've used English toffee, and the English toffee makes this taste more like the Cinnabon that I'm used to. Oh, okay. Then, I don't know, the, the toffee flavor, so we're gonna do six drops. Three, four, five, six. Like, how did you get six drops? Like, did you make it with four and be like, I think it needs two more? I think that the first time I made it, I accidentally put six drops in and then it was like, I tasted it, it was amazing. So wow, there go. that oh. smells so good. Wow, that looks so All right, good. Paige, you get to taste it. Seriously? Yeah. What? Is that amazing? <laughs> oh my mm. gosh, Lambert, do you want to lick? No, I'm not done yet. What? You don't, you just want to lick. It. I can lick, all right. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang. Isn't that so good? Can I have one more? Like, I was really nervous <laughs> at first, but now that I taste it. Holy shit. What? Oh my gosh, how? So good, right? I don't understand. <laughs> I just go. <laughs> oh my gosh, like, like how it tastes like, like you want. put like <clears throat> sugar, like so much sugar in this. How? Lakanto. And a little bit of the stevia to give it that. You get that like kind of toffee flavor, toffee cinnamon oh my gosh, combination. It is so, so good, huh? Good, what? <laughs> Ow! Yes! Okay, so took this out of the fridge, now we're Now we're pudding. getting cinnamon. All right, so save a Save bit. a little bit. Oh, what is this little guy? This is this my little friend of mine gave me this little guy. Is this like a? It's like a painting now. So get it to like each each of the edges here. Now we gotta roll it. In order to roll this bad boy, I do it by myself at home because I'm a loser and a loner. But <laughs> pull this here and start to turn it over because now we gotta get the dough to come over. Paige is gonna be pulling that underneath. And if it gets a uh, in the beginning, it's kind of not so good. So wait until it. Amazing. Good. It's like a cinnamon roll burrito. And we're gonna roll right it back. Cinnaburrito. Cinnaburrito. <laughs> roll that puppy back. So what are you doing right now? What, what is this? Is this just making it? Well, the, yeah, we're gonna throw this in the freezer oh. for about 20 minutes. Wow. So we wanna get it kind of molded together real nice. So we're gonna throw this puppy in the freezer while we work on the uh, frosting. Yeah. All right, so we put the um, cinnamon roll in the freezer this time. We're freezing it, yeah. For we got 20 minutes. It's rolled up, ready to go. Okay, so now. 20 minutes, we got some time to work on this frosting. The frosting, okay. Yeah. It's like a cream cheese. This is the cream cheese frosting that we're gonna make for you today, which has dairy in it. It's, the dairy is actually a probiotic dairy from this bio huh. So you're getting probiotics in the icing, which wow, is pretty awesome. Yeah. As well as some prebiotics that are in the dough. So you have kind of the best of both worlds happening here for a cinnamon roll. There is a uh, 
dairy-free version on my website. That is a coconut-based version for the people that are dairy-free out there. But Labor. today, and I like dairy. I think that you, you're good with dairy, mm -hmm. right? We're gonna be doing more of the dairy version and with good dairies. We have dairy from grass-fed ghee as well. So this is butter without lactose, casein, or salt. Wow. It's a huge so cool. staple in the Ayurvedic world. It's actually the, one of the first things that newborn babies get fed huh, in India. I have never <clears throat> seen this. Yeah. Wow. So another eat good fat is kind of the harping message here. And this fat is loaded with CLAs, um, which will help you burn fat, uh, as well as uh, it helps produce butyric acid, which is really great for the gut. So that is ghee. Um, in the cup already, is we threw in two tablespoons of the collagen powder, which we used in the cinnamon sauce, so we're getting more protein. We threw another two tablespoons of the monk fruit sweetener in, as well, as well as two tablespoons of a grass-fed whey protein. So we got a kind of a protein sauce happening here, a frosting. Um, we're gonna do a little dash of pink salt. Just a little bit there. And we're gonna do two tablespoons of the ghee. We're gonna do just a little, like a little cap full of the vanilla extract. Give it a nice vanilla flavor. And then we're gonna pop this bio -K open. And do two tablespoons. Now that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We're just gonna stir this up again. So you want to throw... Oh my god. So now you have your cream cheese frosting. What? And the this cream cheese... better than cream cheese. Yeah, and, and if you were just to put in regular like coconut milk, it's not going to give that cream cheese flavor. The cream cheese flavor comes from the fermentation of the dairy. So, you know, the dairy has more of a... The fermented dairy has more of like a sour. So when you put the sour with the sweet, you get that cream cheese. Oh kind of like gosh. aged sweet. Thing happening. I can swim in that. <clears throat> this is <sighs> heavenly. And it's just, I, it just chills there like, like that. I can't even believe it. So we're gonna throw this in the fridge and let that set. All right, so we took the rolled cinnamon burrito. <laughs> out, <laughs> the cinnamon the, dough burrito. <laughs> out of the freezer. And we're gonna roll it out. Roll it out. So and now it's frozen, nice. so it's just gonna be nice and easy. All right. That looks like Banks, my dog. <laughs> So we greased our baking sheet with grass-fed ghee. All right, so we got our cinnamon rolls ready to go in the oven. Nice. All right, so I hope you had some leftover cinnamon sauce for the top because this I is kind of like- Don't eat it. All right. Perfect. <clears throat> now they're ready for the oven. Voila! Ah, okay. oh. So how long do you bake it for? 12 minutes at 3.30. 12 minutes. Bam. Three if you five, guys um, are watching this now, and you guys are, oh crap, how do you make the, um, you know, the sauce or the, the actual cinnamon roll? The recipe is gonna be on his website. Yeah, the website, um, we'll, we'll put a link to the bottom yeah. of the website, but it is tailoredlife.com. Yeah, so if you guys actually want to see the recipe written out, so you guys can get everything, or you guys can get the stuff on his website, then you guys can see everything you need. His website will be down below, and then, so we're gonna wait 12 minutes for that to bake, and then we'll be back and show you how to I put the icing on. Throw the icing on at the end, and, and we're, we're golden. Cool. We're gonna have some cinnamon rolls. Yes. I'm gonna lick the spoon while we wait. Do it. Do it. Do it. 
All right, 12 minutes later, we got our cinnamons. <gasps> wow, those look, look so good. Look at those guys. Holy mm. moly. Yum. Can you smell that? Yeah, that smells so good. And they're like little bite-sized ones that yeah, they're perfect. I mean, they're packed yeah. full of fiber too, so like one or two of these will hold you over. <laughs> so now icing? Yeah, now we're gonna throw the icing on top. So it's your preference if you wanna ice them while they're hot. So you're gonna get like a gooey kind of icing that's gonna kind of drip over and get a slightly diluted, or you could put these in the fridge and let them cool off and then throw the icing on on top and you'll get a finished product. For those of you at home that don't have a piping bag, this is a very easy way to get this, to create the same scenario. Look at the icing uh -huh. there. Wow. So you let it set. Victor's a good friend of mine, he works at Cafe Gratitude. And he always wanted to be a pastry chef, so he taught me this fun, easy little trick. So if you don't have like a frosting gun, this is yeah. Basically, all you need is a sandwich bag. Great. Uh oh. Oh, you hungry <laughs> too? What is up? He <laughs> smells the deliciousness. <laughs> and actually, that's Thanks. another sweetener that's toxic for dogs. It's called no. xylitol. This uh, erythritol blend is actually not toxic for dogs. So if he accidentally got a little cinnamon roll, he'd still be fine he wouldn't have to get a stunner pump. So we're just gonna cut a little corner. Ah, look we at can that. Just... I did that for a second and I was like, oh God, it's just too much sweet. <laughs> it works, you can still eat it like, you can still eat, but. Like I just feel like that's what you do is you just bake all day, every I day. I, like, what do you, no. <laughs> I bet you have too I have many a life friends outside that are like, baking. hey, are you baking today? <laughs> but, but I do have a lot of friends that are like, when are you gonna make me something? And they got it. <laughs> you gotta show everyone, like this is Look amazing. This deliciousness. <gasps> sugar, gluten, grain free. Sugar, gluten. Packed full of fiber, protein, um, prebiotics, probiotics. And let's uh, put it to the test to see how close it is okay. to the real thing. I'm trying to figure out which one to do here. Mm. This bad boy here. Cheers. Cheers. What? How? <laughs> oh my god. This is better than a cinnamon roll. It's better, right? I swear. And I don't feel guilty about this. Mm. Here we go. He gets a bad boy. He gets a bad boy in the corner. <laughs> Cinnamon, take note. Or just fire. <laughs> Us? Do I take credit? I do the video! <laughs> this? <laughs> we were told to clean counter before we're done. So. <laughs> so I hope everyone makes this and enjoys it. All the links are gonna be down below for the protein, for the, what else What else we got down there? Uh, we got the collagen protein in the Lakanto. And your website. The website. Which the recipe will be on the website. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, thank you so much. Thank I you so much. I hope everyone enjoys this. Thanks this for is having the me. First, this is, we're gonna call this Cooking with Crosby. All right, this let's good? do it. You like it? Okay, I love cool. it. Well, maybe we'll do this again? Yes? I, I hope so. Yeah, I Please. hope so. My stomach, Lambert hope so. Oh, we are definitely <laughs> so so. <laughs> We're only doing cooking shows from now on. That's it. It's like, that's it. Just food. Just food. <laughs> see our body Delicious change, food. There's an issue. Delicious food that gives you a six pack. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, I will see you guys next time. Bye.